So if you guys don't know, this is Murthos. He is the Skarner God. He has like over 10,000 games on Skarner and now Skarner just got reworked. And basically he's now playing him in the top lane as well. And it is very interesting his play style because I've actually played with him. We're not going to be going over that game, but yes, he has now finally mastered the Skarner rework. Let's check it out. Okay, so Mr. Skarner, 10,000 games. Basically, his room page, he goes as Arcane Comet, Mana Flow, Scorch, Transcendence, Super Boots, and Approach Velocity. Basically, he wants to be a lane bully, and he starts W. As you can see, it does 82 damage, level 1, every 9 seconds, and you can't dodge it, which means zero counterplay, Arcane Comet. I've laned against a Skarner before. Uh, I played Mundo, which is apparently his number one counter. That is not his number one counter, by the way. You just get pushed in and poked down. It, it doesn't feel that good. So you can see this. He presses W. He knows about this cheese. Actually, wait, he still got hit by the W and the Comet. So kind of hard for him to, to shield, but he doesn't want to trade with him. Even though he has nothing, he should be trading with him, I guess, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. He just gets pushed as well because it does damage to the minions. The way they kind of maybe stop this i guess maybe is making it do 50 percent less damage to minions or something like that but he gets always pushed but i don't think they care about the push you can see at level two he's <laughs> this is so stupid actually at level two he picks up a rock and throws it so basically he's just a poking lane bully from straight from level one dude his q does uh 15 maximum health damage no is that real how do you lane against this? And you also get perma push. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is going to be a good trade angle from. Uh, oh, this is going to be a good trade angle. What do you wait? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's actually really bad because this wave is not pushed in. I know it's a kill, but like this wave is kind of screwed. I know you can like get a kill there. He needs to. Uh... Okay, okay. Let me explain this to you guys. Going for this kill is really bad. Uh, instead, you should just push the wave and then zone him off the wave and and pressure him for a kill. He he misses the whole wave, and now your wave is screwed because now you miss six minions. Uh, so now he gets a perfect freeze here. I did, I you know I, he I said he was ten thousand games. I didn't say he was. He was challenger or anything. I think he's masters right now, but um, yeah, like, okay, so like, okay, so here we go. Again, it's just W, Q poke, and then he finds an all in angle after he slows him with his Q and then with his E. So you slow him with the Q and then you look for an E into the wall and then just smash the face in. Plus you have apparently infinite mana on this champion somehow because um, you have Doran's ring, right? I think that's how you sustain. Um, he has a 0.8 AP ratio, by the way, on his W, so that's in really insane. And of course, the more health he gets, the more damage he gets on all of his abilities. So this actually becomes super snowball-y. So yeah, uh, they're probably gonna nerf the AP ratio. Maybe, I don't think so. They'll probably still go something like, I don't know, Doran Shield and still be a lane bully. Like, look at that. 15% of your maximum hit point is 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 damaged by the boulder it comes up every every 12 seconds and it's a big boulder to hit it's kind of hard to dodge i really think all in uh champions like Dari uh, apparently darius actually counters as champion because you just have to all in him right and then ease away he's going in can you find an angle he presses w it misses this was a really bad fight yeah, he's probably gonna kite away unless it looks good. Okay, nice. He's kind of kiting a little while we kind of slow them. He's gotta be careful about the Shen taunt, which is coming right about now. Yeah, he kind of baited himself into it. He can get out. No, he cannot. Definitely tried to get out, but unfortunate. Um, yeah, this this looks. This, this definitely is like not not not, not challenge. <laughs> it's more like kind of like dumb. But um, anyways. Uh, so. This guy got MR Cloak. He's starting to max out W. It's 30 damage per level. Okay, so it's not Q max. What does Q give you? More attack speed. More cooldown. Yeah, you get 6 second cooldown. That's so OP though. 
oh okay okay this is a five second cooldown and you get more shield oh okay more slow too oh this is just broken maybe i should start playing this this is you just press w wave clear what the hell is this comet them to death oh it's just a weird rune that's actually hitting op on some champions it's kind of gross um i usually max out e in the in the jungle right but uh you can see because e you get more uh more 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 ganking more ganking w we just get more damage this is actually so useless i mean not really you get this from nine seconds to five seconds right um oh is he running a cdr rune he's running cdr rune too and probably double scaling health that's what i assume he's doing so that's what he's doing and the w max is very interesting the q max as you can see, 50 damage instead of 10 at max rank, it's kind of kind of worthless. Just okay, he's bringing him to turret. Uh, the Shen ulted. Uh, I think he's fine to be honest. I don't know why he ulted to be honest. It's the worst ult I've ever seen in my life. Um, but uh, yeah, he could just ult if the Rek'Sai, you know, possibly doesn't die. Uh, anyways, though. The W Max is, is is very strong. The laning. <laughs> Look at this. How does this Shen play, man? He just tries to spam W. It's so stupid. He just has to all in. Yeah, I mean this champion you just okay. Like, yeah, he the Shen needs to find all in angles, but like, otherwise you just get poked down. So you have to play permanently aggressive. Does he die? Oh, he's really low. What is the... Uh oh. Yeah, there's all in angle. He's building a haunting... Did I pick the right replay? He's building a haunting guys, in my opinion. Um... Hmm. We need a bit... Okay, haunting guys because he wants to do more damage, but... I'll be a little honest. I'm gonna be a little honest. I'm, I'm not a fan of this Leandre's build. I think he should... I mean, yeah, he does have an AP ratio. Oh, what the hell is ult as an AP rusher too? Didn't see it. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Is it good though? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I think the Doran's ring is good though. Makes a lot of sense. I believe this champion became a top laner and not a jungler. They designed it for jungle. Maybe intended to be a top laner. Anyways, this guy has Spectre's Cowl. I, I guess when I played Mundo, I'm supposed to go Se Spectre's Cowl too, because this this matchup uh, seems very unlaneable. <laughs> okay. Okay, like what? What was that? I think the setup here is you just slow with your W and then press R. That's the setup. It should be easy for Shen to, to dash out of though. But he found his all in angle and crushes him into the wall. You notice how if you if we can go back a little on the all in, right? But um look how he does it. So he slows him with a W, he Q's him, and then he notices he's slowed. But then you notice how he positions himself into the wall while pressing W. Uh and then yeah, he just smashes his face in. So that's how you all in with with uh Skarner. Um it looks really stupid to me, but he knows his combos. Like that's how you play Skarner, and now he's going to Leon just this matchup is going to get a lot, a lot, a very annoying, but also it's also very hard to itemize against this champion because it does physical damage as well. Technically, your passive actually does. I don't even know if his passive is, is, I don't even know if his passive is, um, because he, he needs to press Q, right? Like, he needs to press Q. Yeah. And, and and I think that's it. And then the R, but uh, I guess he autos them. Yeah, true. He definitely autos them. I forgot. But he just presses W. I don't know if his passive was doing anything. But yeah, put some ward down. Um, now he's gonna go for a push. Where's the jungler? I mean, hey, he's he's <laughs> okay. Never mind. Okay, okay man, never mind, man. Like, who's the jungle? Who cares about the jungler, bro? We just get pushed like that. It's just as easy as that. 
And he's gonna look to, to, to poke him more, or is he gonna look for the grubs? Oh, he misses the W, but honestly, this champion, it looks like I don't know how he discovered and how people would discover that this is the way to play top lane, Skarner. Um, I don't know if Leon just is the play, because uh, I think you just go full tank and be a nuisance, even if you get full tank, like this champion just seems like really broken. But I think he just wants to poke him down. Um, is Leonji's the best in this matchup? I don't know. Maybe. Like, how do you itemize against Shen, right? You have to go... He does magic damage, too. Like, going Sunfire wouldn't do much. We do have Rek'Sai, Huey. So, hmm. Those CDR boots. Okay, this guy is just playing for total lane dominance. Screw team fighting. He's going to get lane prow, all that stuff. So... Uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. He gets free grubs for his team. He has always lane prowl. Can he stop him? Nope. Shen ult is coming in the bot lane, but that means he's gonna do a, a proxy here. Yep, it's coming. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey, this W also gets you perma push. Yeah, hey, it also gets you push, eh? And this key also works on turrets. He's gonna do the proxy. Wait, why is he not proxying yet? Okay, he, I think he should have proxied. But I think he was also hitting a tower, so he's gonna is he gonna greet for this? I don't think it's good to go for this play. I think you should reset or help your jungler. Okay. He's staying, he does have 700 gold. I mean honestly there's nothing really to buy. So I guess he's gonna lane even more. Um I mean 700 gold is actually not that much right now. That's what. He ulted. Wait, no, that was the looks like an ult. Okay, he ulted! But now Dude, this guy's got no dash. This is an all-in. I don't know what... Oh, he missed it. Is this an all-in? It's an all-in. He's dead. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, I guess the champion can poke you as well as all-in you. Even if you missed the rock. I'm gonna be honest. This looks completely cancer. <laughs> this looks complete cancer. <laughs> Is he all winning? Is he all winning into the wall? No, no, no. He doesn't have rock. Does he get the plate? Did he get the plate? Hey, wait, yo, bro. What, what, the plate. You might as well. Okay. What? Must have not seen it. That being said, he has 1200 gold in the bank. Is he going to go? Uh, I don't I think Shen does more magic damage. Well, he's building health, so. Okay. So he's going to go Shoujin. <laughs> he's going to go Shoujin. I'm not a fan of. AD. In fact, nothing. Oh, okay. His Q skills is AD. It's not even that good, though. But I understand what his theory is. He's basically increase. He's going to be increasing his base damage. Wait, but his base damage. I mean, it just looks annoying. 180 is actually not that much. But his pat. This dude, 15% damage. Oh, is a lot. That's a lot. So maybe the Shoujin play is the, is the play. Like I said, this is perma. It's just perma poke. It's literally just perma poke. I think he could have queued the minion uh, cannon before being away, but you know, better safe than sorry. This Janna is losing resources. He's not going to take that risk. If he gets nadoed, he can maybe get all in, but I actually don't think they have enough damage. And the fact that this champion is maxing W and having a four second cooldown on a 200 shield, how can you kill this guy? With low damage, you need something that has better all in. You need all in, right? So. Yeah, gonna need all in. He's gonna push this wave. I mean, he has total control of this. I do want to speed this up a little bit just to see. We've seen enough landing phase. I just want to see him. Um, damn, these minions just taking this out. Press him. Is he all in? Yep, there's a. Okay, where's he going with this? I don't know why he kind of went to the right, but. Uh, I, I. He kills him. Yep, he kills him. Yep. I'm surprised he didn't drag him to the left. I think he might have wanted his alt position to, like. Get him closer. Like if he alts, puts him, displaces him here, but then chins up higher in the wall, it makes him closer. That's really weird. I right, showed you the runes. Okay. 
And now he's driving and he's maxing out Q, which is probably the best. You want more cooldown on your damage ability. He does have Shoujin? No, he doesn't. He has a lot of CDR. How is he going to play this? All he's doing is in these team fights, he's just pressing W to zone them and then. Po okay, what the hell? <laughs> He's pressing W to zone them, and then um, he's just peeling back. I'm going to be honest. I I can't tell if this is OP or if it's... If it's... It just, just balanced, you know? It, it looks kind of OP. Okay, the laning phase looks gross. I think the laning phase looks disgusting. Like, I don't know what beats it. I heard Darius is a good counter. Um, I don't think... I don't know. Yeah, like, how do you... What is going on? I think Darius is a good counter. Because Skarner technically is low damage uh, all in. He just kind of pokes you and like, what the hell is that? Did he get the angle of the R? That's a BL R? Huh? Oh! Oh, he actually gets her. Shut gets down. the shut. Okay, that's the shutdown on the Skarner. Even though he has a shutdown, if you look at the goal, it's 34,000 to 32,000. It'll be weird. Cassiopeia's name is Cal Effer. So yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see how he plays team fights, right? Really interested to see how he plays team fights. I do think um, some, you know, we've pointed out a few mistakes. Maybe that's why he's like master or whatever, but uh, his Garner, his Garner is good, you know? Okay, I honestly I haven't been paying attention to the map. I've also been paying attention to how he lanes. I don't care about like where the jungler is and stuff like that. So like I don't I, I haven't looked at that to be honest. I, I think his build's a little Um Actually wait. How much CDR does he have? 53? Children to increase all his QWE. I mean maybe it's smart. Only thing that I don't like is that he doesn't have armor or MR. But, like there's no armor or MR, so like how's he supposed to tank? In fact, the Huawei is 7012. So he definitely needs to get like some kind of hollow radiance. What the fuck? Um, what's he gonna do? Are right, you guys dead? Okay, he's definitely dead. Does he get movement speed from his, his E? Hold on. Yeah, a little split pushing too much. Um, he can easily kill him. His W gives movement speed, no? Uh, nothing gives movement speed. He does have. Oh yeah, I was gonna say he does have phase rush. This comment. But nothing here gives movement speed. Just his ultimate. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how he gets forty percent movement speed. Okay, so now he's going for a split push. He does have TP. Does he see a flank? I mean, dude, do, do you see a flank on the mini map? No, because like Briar's going bot. Cassio needs to push top. Like uh. He pushes and then he's gonna look for a flank angle. He's looking, he's looking, he's gonna help push mid. You have uh does he have super no he has super this orb. If you look for a flank there, he's gonna push this lane again. He's gonna look for a flank, not gonna split push, he wants a team fight. I'm very curious to see how he gets an angle on the uh on these team fights. He's looking for it. What's he looking something? Sway is not he died. I mean, he died to someone. I don't know who. Oh my god, his bounty. You can see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He got the way. He got the way. Oh my god, he actually he's alive. I, I can't see who got the bounty. It's Tanami. Oh, okay. Well, well, maybe she can do something like gold. He is very tanky. And he does a decent amount of damage. Like, we can see how much his Leon Juice has done. 3,000? Okay. He's finally going to be going tanked. He's teleporting to see if they're doing Baron. Wei has no flash. Let's see what happens. They're only 2k up, by the way. They're actually, even though the score is looking really bad. Like, you can see the score is looking really bad on his team. They're only up 2k. I guess if... Oh, look. Uh, Aphelio CS. Top lane. It's up. Wow, okay, Huey, okay, I don't know. What? All the gold's probably on Nami. Alright, so watch this. What's he gonna do? He he's away. 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 And, and he gets out. No one can stop him. But now you can just poke him down. 
He's throwing rocks at them. He's making space. You know, they're trying to engage on them. They're getting a little poked down. He gets away. He pokes her down. He pokes her down. Oh, this looks fuck. This looks cancer. He he gets them off Baron. Now the enemy is is rough on tempo. He's gonna have to go bot and push this wave. Probably push another one. He uses E to. I don't know why he uses E there, but sure. It's on low cooldown, so who cares? He's got 2,800 hit point. His shield. He's building a frozen heart. Okay, this guy is just going like frozen heart and stuff. Like he's just like going max CDR. It's on a three second cooldown. It's on a three second cooldown. A 258 shield. No way he doesn't go more health, right? On this champion. He flashes in. He finds his area. Okay, no. Dude, I mean, he flashes in. His initiation is, is he flashes in. He doesn't eat in. He flash W's and slows him for 40%. I saw his win rate though in top lane. It's 48%. Uh, let, actually, let me check. But honestly, this looks like a 52% win rate. Maybe people haven't figured out how to play him, but uh, I know in the jungle, he's kind of bad. Dude, he's a 50 or 48% win rate. Yeah, it's not that good, but like, I think maybe he's going to be OP. It's maybe the new Cassante. Yeah, even uh, UGG says the max W into Q. And to start Doran's ring is the best. I don't know where this guy learned this. Maybe we played a lot on PBE, but it's looking pretty, pretty clean so far. It's looking also very scary. Uh, also, the best build to go is... So apparently, if you're against double AD, you go like Sunfire, Hollow Radiance, etc. You know, the orange is actually a very, very horrible win rate on it. Uh, and during unending despair, I can see unending despair being good, but I think you need wave clear. Maybe not. I could be wrong. I mean, this guy doesn't need wave clear. He just presses W. I don't think you need wave clear in this champion. So maybe going unending despair. And then apparently there's a Fimbo Winter build. Okay, but, but you'd buy tier in this champ. I'm against because this champion... I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this champion... Doesn't seem like he needs mana. Yeah, I don't think he needs mana. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wanna try it myself. It look this looks totally broken. Yeah, it looks it look I, I don't think his I don't know, I can't say if his build is wrong or right, but I know what he's he's emphasizing is like the CDR base damage. I don't know about this. I'm not sure why he's trying to fight him. I don't think he can kill him. Yeah, okay, wait, the Shen is actually beating him. <laughs> I mean, does he care? Uh, no. I don't think he care. I don't know why he did that. I think he's just pushed the wave and just run away. He, because now he doesn't have ult for a team fight. Randuins, okay, emphasizing on the hit point. Yeah, I think unending despair, Thimble Winter is apparently a good item on him. Like, it has a very high win rate. Fimble Winter, Heart Steel, Unending Despair. I mean, yeah, low low damage team fights. I could see it being good. Abyssal Mask? Kill, wait, wait. You just kind of build him like Zack? I mean, yeah. What the hell? That looks funny. Okay, so... Okay, they get Baron. I have no idea how the enemy is losing this. They're up 4k. They're just throwing. It's crazy. What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh, what? <gasps> what? No! No way. All right, whatever. I mean, it's kind of hard to trade when he presses W because he has a shield, right? So, yeah, it just seems like you just poke him with W. 
honestly seems like very very zero skill this the way he sets up is good though you know keeping or something i don't know what he's doing he's level 17 though he's very 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 high level uh his team is fighting but it looks a little lost uh, maybe it's not what's he gonna do he sees zeri and he's gonna crush her into the wall yep there it is oh my goodness you guys ran doing so how much is it reduced what that no uh, not that much 500 this champion is a menace i'm not gonna lie he's a mar he's finally building a mar I'm gonna go visage because he has an enchanter that's what i would go Bro, i can see unending this pair being better than sunfire i don't know why he built sunfire in his champion i think he has way good wave clear Simple winter though. Uh, simple winter. Hmm. Yeah, apparently I could see Fimble Winter being super good. Our steel being super OP, right? And then high yellow. Mm, you usually need to spike with two items, so. So with two items, I'm thinking. Okay. Fimble Winter is good. Maybe. Um. I did see unending this being really good. I think Ice Monk on was bait. It's so bait. It looks awful. If you're winning matchup though, maybe Harsh Steel? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let me see what they're doing in higher elo. So here, you see, simple one is just good. Like what? Who's doing this? Even rushing it might be good. Like, maybe it might be just because like Sarah, might be because like Sarah, like people rushing Seraphs. Okay, maybe that's why. Interesting stuff. I'm gonna play this champ. This looks very fun. Alright, he's going K-Neck. He's also like Leonji's and Shojin is actually good now because he has enough armor in Amar. He's done a lot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh you guys are not respecting the Skarner. There's no way they walked into that. I think she eat in too. Yeah, this that was gross. That is a great setup for my 10,000 game Mercos 1v9 gamer. Oh, and he's going in. He's good at this champion. Should I play it better? I don't think so. Even probably macro because I don't play top lane. Probably not. I'm going to hide. This champion looks broken. But uh, maybe, I mean, they even have high damage, except for Shen and Rek'Sai. I'd be hella confused. Uh, why is this guy building Hullbreaker? Oh, this is such a good <laughs> This is so bad on Rek'Sai. What the hell? So, okay. He's gonna go back. Oh my, is he gonna solo him? He's gonna soul him. He's gonna back out though. He's burnt a lot of things. Yep, he's burning. What the hell is this? He's just thinking away. He's just he's just This guy I'm in despair. Uh he's just healed. Yeah, he does. He healed a lot though. get the D Baron. Yep, that one's gonna be test. It looks like it's gonna be GG very soon. He does have TP. He's gonna split push and then if he sees a team fight, yep. He's gonna split push and if there's a team fight, yep. He's also finding a flank. He pushes. He's gonna eat in here to throw the rock. Give him some poke. Oh, nope, they're gonna play for Dragon Soul. Not gonna do anything stupid. Doesn't have flash, right? So. Oh, 
Look, the, 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 oh my god. Okay, but y'all, oh, okay. This dryer is not dead. He's living. Tried to peel. Honestly, you can't really peel Rex size. I'd say the ult was was not that good. This Aphelios is now like okay, he's just god. So he can he, okay, but the Zarya's kind of spacing him, and but they still win because he got GA and the game is over. I actually learned a lot. I think this champion looks broken. I want to play him a lot in the top lane. And our Briar sells all her items and buys glowing moat. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. That was kind of crazy to watch. I learned a lot though.